Today I've got my thoughts on the Lego Ideas Flintstone set and I finally got around to building this set which I was originally planning to save this until the end of the month but a little bit of not knowing my work schedule caused me to open this a little early but I'm just happy to finally have this done after having it sealed for six months but we'll start out with the minifigs, which you got Fred, Wilma, Barney, and Betty. The four main characters from the Flintstones. And they do give you a story to why Dino, Fred, and Wilma's pet dinosaur isn't included in this set. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But for the characters themselves, I think they turned out really well in Lego form. Honestly, a lot better than I would have expected. Even though for for Barney and Fred, it's basically minus their iconic noses. They still look really good, and I can't wait to include them with my Scooby-Doo minifigures to add to more of my one corner of my city. But I think the minifigs all turned out really well, and Wilma and Betty do have alternate faces. I'm not going to show those in this video because I'm a, bit, a little crazy camera work. And then you do get this giant rib of meat, which just attaches to Fred's car, which is done really well in Lego form. And I was just testing it out because when I was originally building it, now I just noticed that I've actually not missing the uh, wheel thing on this corner it is uh, it's in my parts thing but I'll attach that before I do the city update but just for this video just so you guys know I do have the piece for that wheel so it's not missing from the set even though I've had a few times when I was building this set that I thought pieces were missing, but they weren't. It's just I wasn't following the instructions as good as I thought I was. And then for the other little side build, which is actually the final thing you build, which is the Flintstones mailbox, which I think is a really nice little build. I'm very happy with how this turns out. And then just for the house itself, I think the iconic shape and look of Fred's house is there. I would like to see one done for the Rebels as well. That would be kind of nice to see just to add more of Bedrock in Lego form. But for an overall, I really think the outside of this turns out really, really well. And I really can't say the same for the interior Just for the fact that it feels a little tight and a bit crammed in there, even after you remove the roof, which the roof is all one separate build, and it's not even attached with any bricks. It's just set in there, and it locks in pretty well, so I'm happy with that. But I just feel that it's a bit tight in spots with this set, which I get. They were limited with it, but I think overall, though, other than the tight spaces with this on the interior, this is a really wonderful Lego set. And then there's a bit of a shot of the TV with the news bulletin of Dino missing. And then you've got another print, which is a picture on another 2x4 tile, which I think is a nice touch for this Lego set so that's pretty much it for the Lego Ideas Flintstone set and you guys can see this placed in my Lego city with my Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion set for this month's city update so you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.